friends welcome to my hospital at ranaghat west bengal india this is an intumescent cataract with very shallow anterior chamber and a soft nucleus let us observe the surgical steps this is the main incision and this is a paracentesis on the right side of the main incision about 3 clock hours away and now i'm going to inject an air bubble the antechamber was very shallow and a very little amount of air could go in and now i am injecting tripan blue dye i am injecting through the side port for the inferior part and now this is little bit of adrenaline and now the dye is washed out using a 23 cos simco cannula you can see some tags on the anterior capsule i don't know how it has formed this is little bit of viscoat from alcon viscoat is a combination of chondroitin sulfate and sodium hyaluronate beneath this viscoat i'm injecting a bit of spmc and now i want to do capsulorexis and before that this is a side port on the left side of the main incision and now capsulorexis a 26 gauge bent needle is being introduced through the right side port and i make a puncture and make a c flap a curved flap i hold this flap and do a small rexis see inferiorly it tends to go to periphery but since this is a very small rexis i can control it i can bring it back and i can complete a small rexis i call it a mini rexis and now i am going to use a 23 gauze simco cannula to aspirate some lens matter some cortical matter this will help in two ways the anterior chamber will be of some depth anterior chamber was very shallow after aspirating the this cortical matter anterior chamber will form and the intra lenticular pressure will decrease so two advantages intra lenticular pressure will decrease and the very shallow anterior chamber will be of some depth it will be of normal depth you can say so some lens matter has been removed some cortical matter and now this is spmc it is being sprayed with the corneal epithelium for better visibility and now i make a small nick at the margin of this mini rexis and then i take a utetra forceps hold this capsular tag go anti clockwise all around and complete this beautiful rexis you can say this is a manual femdorexis so if you can improve your skill to a certain level this femto second laser is not required for capsulorexis in intumescent cataracts and now is the time to introduce the tip of the feco handpiece into the anterior chamber um, removing some cortical matter the anterior chamber is having some depth now so i am holding the nucleus with bevel down and making this job and i hold it 
here at this time the bevel is sideways the nucleus is soft and brittle and it is getting chopped and emulsified very fast so intumescent cataracts can be of can have any type of nucleus can have hard brown nucleus can have grade 3 density nucleus or this kind of soft brittle nucleus that's it nucleus and epinucleus has been removed and now I inject some viscoelastic substance and this is the time to remove the cortical matter very little cortical matter is remaining I am using a 23 gauze Simco cannula for removal of cortical matter. You can use a coaxial IA or bimanual IA for this. This is a totally unedited surgery and you are watching each and every step of this surgery. Uh, real time so cortical cleanup is almost done yes there are some cortical matter in the sub incisional area and that has been removed posterior capsule is quite clean now and it doesn't need further polishing and now is the time to implant a foldable intraocular lens and this is what you can say hydro implantation the anti-chamber is kept formed by irrigating fluid and the lens is implanted in the capsular bag yes the lens is in the capsular bag and the capsule is covering part of the optic all around so this is you can say a very nice rexis now the paracentesis incisions are closed by hydrating the stroma on either side of the incision so that these stab wounds become tight this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber The chamber is formed and the case is closed. Thank you very much for watching. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be better and do better.